the Starlink Mini, which Elon Musk says will change the world. And in my opinion, I think he's pretty damn close. Because look at the size of this. This will bring internet pretty much anywhere in North America and in most all places across the world, which is insane. But the reason we're bringing this video to you guys is because we have a hunt this fall. We got a bunch of hunts. We got a bunch of adventures coming up. And this unit is going to completely change the way that we go up to, say, Alaska, the middle of nowhere Alaska, or up in Canada, or depending on different uh, availability options with subscriptions across the world. If we go to Africa, if we go to Australia, wherever else it might be, this little thing right here that'll fit right in my backpack is in fact a game changer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. We have wind, we've got weather coming in. We're here in Colorado and it's, it's our monsoon season. So we've got a big storm kind of up over this next hill that is definitely coming in because we've been 80, 85, 90 degrees here. And I'd say it's probably 70, maybe 75 here right now. It's, it's nice if I'm being honest. <laughs> but we're gonna set this up. The key with this one again is it's gonna be meant for, for the outdoors, meant for people that are traveling, going on trips, maybe don't have access to internet where they're planning on going, like Alaska in our case. I have a little charger here that we'll be able to use up in Alaska. I have the Starlink unit, which is actually the router built into this satellite dish, as well as all of the goodies inside of here. The other crazy thing is they actually give you like a pipe mount for this unit. So when you get back home, if you don't want to keep your internet here, you just grab your Starlink Mini, bring it with you on your trip, set it up, go when you come back home, put it back on your little pipe mount, and you're ready to rock and roll. Just pulling everything out now, we have their like AC wall plug to a DC barrel adapter of some sort. I'll put that there for a second. This is just a little cover. I'll set that down. Here's our cable, which is thinner than what it seems the normal Starlink cables are like. And then we have our, our manual here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that for the time being because what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna set this up and run it solely off this battery, this battery solution that I have in here, which I'll go ahead and open that real quick. This is just the OmniCharge 40 plus. The reason I went with this one is it has an AC as well as a DC barrel. And I'm hoping that DC barrel is gonna fit to charge this. If not, the AC will. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flip this over, show this off. And if, if I'm not mistaken, as far as I know, this is the first Starlink that has a built-in ethernet port in there yeah it's a way i don't know if you can see that in there but there's an actual ethernet in there i'm sure you have to get an adapter to be able to use whichever starlink prefers you to use but then we have our dc port and we're going to jump right into this i'm going to cover that ethernet back up because it is weather resistant it can stand a whole bunch of like i think 60 mile an hour winds uh rain snow this one actually i do believe heat, heats up so it will melt snow off of it, sleet and stuff like that, which is awesome. I know we have the generation one from a, a while back now, and that one, I mean, it moves with the satellites and it does everything by itself. It's incredible. This one won't do that. You'll have to set this one up. I'm pretty sure it's like generation three where you'll have to set it up, make sure you're kind of pointed in the direction. There's a software uh, that's through the Starlink app. The software will actually help you guide the satellite to wherever it needs to be. Like when you get out into the field, it'll give you a good idea of it that way. So we're just gonna do that right now. We're gonna get this going. Another reason why I wanted to do this right before the storm came in is, especially where we're planning on going to Alaska, a lot of times it's pretty crappy weather outside. So why not test it in what you plan on using it in, right? That's what we've always been told. It looks like both ends of this DC cable are identical, which is nice. We've got simple little ports here. Just your DC barrel ports. They are sealed. So like I said a minute ago, this will withstand rain, sleet, snow. It will melt the snow again. It does a fantastic job at that. And that's, I think, part of the reason because they have all of these seals on there. They really take their time to make sure everything's properly put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to the bottom of the Starlink mini unit. And this unit itself runs for $5.99 for just the hardware itself. And then of course you're gonna have to get a subscription. You have a 50 gigabyte subscription, which is $50 a month, right? And then you have a unlimited subscription, which I believe they call as the regional. And that is an unlimited amount of data that you can use over it. However, it's not for in motion use. It's for on land. 
and non-motion use, like an RV. The other one is for motion use for the 50 gigabytes and then you pay incremental depending on the gigabyte after that. That being said, you have the $50, 50 gigabytes, and then the $150 for unlimited. So depending on what you plan on using it for, choose wisely. <laughs> I'm gonna just see if this barrel works on this Omni Charge. I don't know if it will or not. It does not feel like it. I don't wanna force it. I'm not forcing it on there. Okay, simply enough, all you do instead, go ahead and grab your little adapter here. I'm gonna plug the barrel into the bottom of this adapter. I do know online on all of different shops across the world wide web, there's a bunch of different cables and adapters already to actually make this DC Starlink plug into a USB-C, which is very nice because, I mean, it is the, it is 2024 after all, and uh, everything you use should be essentially USB-C. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and plug this in. Now the unit's not on, so it's not going to kick up or anything like that. And I'm just going to turn the actual battery itself on. Now if I hit that button, the AC power should turn on, which is what this wall plug is. I'll set that down. I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna open my Starlink app. Before you do all this, you should already have it downloaded. If not, definitely do it before you go out in the field because otherwise you can run into a lot of issues without being able to download the Starlink app. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over, just kind of point towards the sky. Starlink does recommend that you point it somewhere in a clear area, kind of like all the other Starlinks are. Um, if you're looking around and there's a, just a bunch of, like a big canopy above you of trees, you're gonna wanna try to get out of that at least a little bit, which is probably part of the reason why they have this super long cable that comes with it, which is awesome. But definitely have somewhat of an opening above you to at least get some, some view of the sky. And now I know online, Star, uh, Elon Musk did a, did a test with this unit and he got 100 megabits download. I think it's like 11.5 megabits upload at like a 23 or 32 millisecond um, latency, which is incredible, especially depending on the location. What we're gonna try here, I don't know if he had a blue sky, a uh, cloudy sky, whatever it might've been. We're gonna test it how we're imagining Alaska to be. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead, link to the Starlink Wi-Fi in your settings app on your phone, whether it's an Android or Apple. When you reopen the Starlink app, you'll connect to Starlink Wi-Fi. It will optimize your connection. And then here in just a moment, it's gonna tell me where we need to turn this, which direction, where the satellites up in the sky are at that it needs to point at. This can take anywhere from a couple seconds to a couple minutes. While we're waiting for that to kind of figure out what it needs to be pointing at, we're going to just go over some of the specs here off of Starlink themselves. Um, we're at roughly 17 inches long, a little bit over 13 inches wide, and about 3.1 three and 3 .1 inches thick. So that's the actual thickness of this part itself. The package weight in total is going to be not quite 15 pounds, which is including the cable, the unit, the, I mean, the satellite with the built-in router, as well as your attachments in, on the inside of this. The device working temperature is anywhere from negative two degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're, if you're out and about in that, bless you, bless you. Cause that's terrible, <laughs> especially 122 degrees. Whew. The ingress protection, which is your dust and your water rating um, is IP67, which is going back to like I was saying a minute ago, as long as you're using this cable, that they provide to you, this part of the unit, the actual satellite router and that plug behind it will be rated for this. Depending on what your battery is, that's a different story. That's the part that you probably put in your tent or in your camp, wherever it might be that you're uh, looking at installing this. For all of you uh, geeks out there that like to get really deep into the power consumption and everything else, we're looking roughly 25 to 40 watts. Don't know if that's per hour or what that is. <laughs> If I'm being honest, your Wi-Fi technology is 802.11 A, B, G, N, or AC, um, which is your generation five Wi-Fi. And then, I mean, other than that, it comes down to just finishing the setup process, making sure what the speeds are out here in the middle of Colorado. We're up on a mountaintop right now with weather above us. So let's see. Getting online is taking longer than usual. Make sure your Starlink has complete clear view of the sky. I'm just gonna turn it to the most area of the sky that we have here. There we go. Tap to finish setting up your Wi-Fi. Name your network. 
This is the this is probably most important part of the entire setup process. If you don't think of an appropriate name for your Wi-Fi, you're wrong. It's just probably the most important part. Bill, why the science fi? Why believe I can fi? I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> you got Billy Wi Cyrus? Like Billy Ray Cyrus? <laughs> How how would would you would it be F I R U S? Yeah. That's terrible. That's <laughs> terrible. That's a good one. Oh no. And then you go ahead and put your password in, whatever you might want it to be. You can be simple, do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because you have to be between that eight to thirty-two uh, character limit, which one through eight is pretty easy and I don't think we're gonna be near any people when we're up in Alaska with this one. <laughs> It's gonna go ahead, you're gonna apply your settings. It's gonna take a second. It's probably gonna reboot your Wi-Fi. You might have to reconnect to it, but it's gonna be under whatever you chose as the name, like Billy wi fi -rus. <laughs> And then once that's all booted back up, it might have us move it if, it if it thinks it needs to. It might not. It might already be in like the perfect location because you know we're awesome, but no, uh, all kidding aside, it'll let you know if you need to move it. If not, then you're good to go. It should kick up connect to the internet and you're on your way. It's super easy just to quickly run over the steps again. It's literally open the box, pull the mini out, take out the cable, have either a wall port or a DC adapter or some sort of a battery to be able to power the unit. And that's just something that you're gonna have to bring with you or that if you're plugging it at home, just use the wall port. You'll plug your barrel connector in to the Starlink mini and then into the wall or the battery that you have. Open the app, connect to the Wi-Fi. It'll, the, the app itself will run you through all the steps. And then after that, you're done. Super simple, super easy. I'm probably most excited to try this out either down in the valley where we have absolutely zero service. Here I have one bar of LTE and I'm using quotation marks because it says that I can't open a web page right here. I'm sure I'll get crap if somebody sees that I have LTE up here and they're like, oh, why don't you just use your cellular? Well, I'm gonna take it down in the bottom where there isn't any cellular. Duh. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna join Billy Y the virus. Wait, Billy Y the virus, wait a minute. What am I saying? Billy, Billy Y virus. Holy smokes. I can't even English right now. Too many radio waves in my head. <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. People are gonna be like, oh God, he's gonna die from radio waves now because Starlink. And then it's gonna become a whole thing. And then next thing you know, I'm gonna be blamed. Elon Musk is gonna hate me for making a joke. And then next thing you know, people are gonna start randomly dying from radio waves coming out of Starlink, even though I think we're fine. I don't think this is a frequency that's messing with my head. If you guys are enjoying this video, this setup, we've got a bunch more stuff coming at you guys between this battery pack and a whole bunch of other things that we got going on per usual. But don't forget, hit that like button if you guys enjoy this and possibly sub subscribe if you wanna see more of this because again, we're gonna do more and more of this stuff and we really hope you enjoy it. If you have any comments, if you guys are getting one of these, let us know down in the comments because I want to know. I want to know if you like it. I want to know your experiences. Let us know. Uh, other than that, let's give this a go. Let's try and see how fast this Wi-Fi is going. Now that it's all aligned, there's downloading an update. We're at 75 or 77, 78, 79, 80, 96. 97, 98, 99, 100, it's done. <clears throat> so now that that update is done, we're gonna go ahead and just run the speed test. Wow, behind you is very dark. We should hurry. We should probably hurry. <clears throat> well, this has taken a full like 20 minutes, which really isn't that bad considering we are trying it with a bunch of clouds above us and in a somewhat f f like wooded area forest. Not really much of a canopy above us, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and run the speed test now. <clears throat> I don't know if you can even see that. Holy smokes. You know? You know, if that's, if that's what we get either down below or in Alaska, I will be more than happy. <clears throat> okay, we're running 23 megabit upload, dang. 33 millisecond latency. 
I'd say that's pretty solid, I'm gonna be honest, especially for how small of a unit this is. And including everything inside of it, being the router, being the actual satellite, having the cable, having, coming, coming with everything that you need other than possibly a battery pack. I mean, to be able to get, even if it's at 58 megabits for your download is just phenomenal in the middle of nowhere. So it hit 102 for a second, and now it's just kind of creeping back down again. <clears throat> Now, it looked like we sat pretty consistent at that 67, 68. You went between those a couple times. Now, is this gonna be as good as running it off of maybe generation one, two, or three? I have, I have no idea, if I'm being honest with you. I couldn't tell you. We have a generation one that has been doing great for us. This is, our, this is the second one we've ever actually gotten. Uh, just because obviously, once you buy one, you really don't need another. But in this case, I mean, we have our one here for the office that runs kind of all of our, our workflow and that one stays up at all times. This is, I mean, for all of our adventures, this is perfect, honestly. The key, I guess, is to see how long this battery is gonna last with that thing plugged in. Cause I came out here at 99% and I'm currently at 93. So you figure, what? Say it's probably 7% over 20 minutes. This will last you a while, I think. I think it's raining now. Uh, I think this will last you a while. This battery pack in specific, again, is the OmniCharge 40 plus. But if you guys wanna, I'll put the Starlink uh, description down below. If you guys wanna go check it out, whatever else we have in this video will be down there. Thank you guys again for watching. We're gonna have to close this up really quick because it's starting to rain and it's getting, I think, quite a bit nastier. Behind us looks nice. No, it doesn't, I lied. That's just all clouds. I thought it was blue from the corner of my eye. Okay, we're gonna pack up and uh, go inside. We might leave the Starlink outside because it can handle that. But, um, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. You just, you just, oh no. Oh no. I gotta hurry. <laughs> I hate cables so much. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Goodbye.